Air pollution is becoming a real threat for the whole world. It seems that Kosovo cannot avoid this threat. In the following minutes, we are going to present to you the main threats uh, of the air in Kosovo. So, enjoy the video. Air supplies us with oxygen which is essential for our bodies to live. Air is 99% nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor and inert gases. Human activities can emit substances into the air, some of which can cause problems for humans, plants and animals. Main sources of air pollution are the release of particles and noxious gases from burning fuels and other chemical reactions, leading to smog, acid rain, and the greenhouse effect and holes in the ozone layer. Each of these problems has serious implications for our health and well-being as well as for the whole environment. Kosovo is considered one of the most polluted countries in Europe, where the pollution exceeds the limit permitted by European norms. According to key EPA, Kosovo Environmental Protection Agency, the results show that only in Pristina this limit exceeds up three to six times more than permitted. From many economic operators that contribute to air pollution, we can extract three of the main industries in Kosovo, which are Shartsam, Kek and Ferronica. Among these economic pollutants, Kek's power plants are specifically considered as the main source of air and water pollution in Kosovo, where environmentalist organizations in Kosovo warn that the youngest state in the region and its citizens are facing major threats from this pollution. Electricity production from coal, the large number of cores, many of which are obsolete, deforestation and the lack of green areas are some of the major environmental problems that Kosovo is facing. According to key EPA and Ministry of Environment, there are over 100 locations with heavy metals, chemicals, waste piles and pesticides that pose high risk to environment. CAC nowadays has a number of problems resulting from economical and political events. The main problems are old plants with exceeded lifetime, high commercial and technical losses, high operational cost, meaning low production due to old equipment and a large number of outrages, lack of financial means for rehabilitation and dilemma which these facilities should be rehabilitated or should be closed down. Environmental protection in Kosovo is facing big challenges. It is necessary to support economic and sustainable development, effective infrastructure, environmental balance, achieve effective and efficient use of land and natural resources in a way that will prevent conflicts of economic and ecological interests. But in the end, Kosovo's prosperity, our standard of living and our quality of life will be greatly influenced by how we extract, transform, allocate and consume our energy resources.